Hey guys, it's Gameface and welcome back to episode 9 of my Manchester United career mode. Now today we've got the Crystal Palace FA Cup game, uh, which is a replay match. Uh, so that should be a really interesting game. Then we've got a few games against lesser teams really uh, coming up. I will be playing I think one of those, that might be the West Ham game that I play. It really depends whether they're home or away. And uh, yeah, I've got some interesting games coming up though. You can see Liverpool's at the end of March, or kind of actually the middle of March, thinking about it. Uh, that's my final game in there. And they're actually getting fairly near to the end of the season now, surprisingly. Uh, once we got past March, which seems quite a short month um, of games, we're very near the end of the season. So it's getting very close. Thank you so much for your support in the previous episode of this one as well. It's really appreciated. But let's get into this episode. And we're going to play with this team against Crystal Palace. Hopefully we can continue the good form at the moment. We've obviously brought in Royce and Griezmann. And uh, yeah, let's see how we get on. I really want Royce to play well for us. He's obviously cost us a lot of money. Uh, same with Griezmann. He was 30 million. Royce was 32. And let's see whether we can get a goal. Oh, Schneidlin early on. Uh, but yeah, like I said, I want those new signings to play really well and kind of fit into the team nicely. Uh, we'll just have to see how uh, we do, though, in this game. Depay is being played through by Rooney. Depay. Oh, oh God, that is terrible. Royce cuts inside. He's still going on his right foot and saved fairly easily by Savaroni. MacArthur through to Robbie Keane. And this time it does go in just before half time. They've deserved it, to be honest. I mean, they've not been better than us, but it has been fairly um, equal, to be honest, throughout this first half. And uh, yeah, it's very disappointing losing 1 0. And that is it for the first half. We are still losing 1 0. Not good enough at all from us. Uh, I'm not going to make any changes just yet, but um, we're going we're gonna to just have to play a lot better than what we've done there. Not our usual selves. I'm not really too sure what to change. Rooney's won it back. Still going away in Rooney. Can he chip it in? And he's won himself a corner. Griezmann to take. Can he find the head of one of our defenders, maybe? It was uh, a leap from someone. Royce has got it, and it's saved again easily by Speroni. Schweinsteiger's on a brilliant run here. Still going, Schweinsteiger. Have I got the controls wrong or something? What is going on? Is that one a corner? All right, fair enough. That one's a corner, but the shots are going everywhere today. Schneidlin's leaped for it, and it's rubbish. Okay, we're going to have to make a few changes. The first one's going to be Juan Mata on, Wayne Rooney off. And then I think Darmain's going to come on and we'll take pay off. Hopefully that improves the team a little, but there's only 30 minutes left. Otherwise, we are going out of the FA Cup. I'm still waiting for a decent opportunity in this game. There's only 12 minutes to go. We've just won ourselves a corner. I'm not a fan of her left-footed corner from this place. So we're going to go Darmain to take it. Hopefully he can put in... Something a little bit better, and again, it's a very poor one. Rodriguez, maybe, to curl something, and they're just throwing the bodies on the line at the moment, Palace. Just over five minutes to go now, and it's not improving at all. It really isn't getting any better for us. Juan Mata trying to... Oh, that is it. We've lost. 1-0. I mean, to be honest with you, that's the worst we've ever played on this crowd so far, so... It wasn't good at all. It was like a completely different team to the one that I played with just last episode. The additions of Royce and Griezmann, I mean, if you told me that they weren't playing, I would have believed you, to be honest, because they didn't do anything at all. I mean, £62 million I spent on those players, including Di Maria going the other way, is part of one of the deals. That is painful, really painful, especially when they just don't do anything at all. So, very disappointing, but we will move on to the next game now, and um, we're now out of the FA Cup, I believe. On to the next game against West Ham. This one I will actually be simming. This is the team I'm going to be putting out. I've started doing a new thing now where I'm going to sim at 45 minutes uh, through the match. So that is when I'm going to sim. It kind of saves a little bit of time um, as well as me not having to just talk for like 90 minutes of the game. It's not particularly interesting to listen to. So you will skip at 45 minutes and that'll do, that will determine what the actual score of the game is. But as you can see, Ramos gets sent off for a straight red. Uh, Royce makes it 1-0, luckily though, five minutes later. And Skip, we won the game 2-0. Schweinsteiger scored the other one. And uh, yeah, not a bad game actually in the end. We'll take that, even though Ramos was uh, sent off and now suspended for the next game against Burnley. Luke Shaw sent me an email about his wages. He wants a wage increase from 30 grand. I think that's fair enough. He probably, you know, I mean, compared to some of the other players, he should be on more than 30 grand. So we'll up it to 40 like he's asking. We'll go and part of a first team player also. Uh, I think that one's fair. And yeah, we'll move on to the game against Burnley. Luke Shaw accepted the contract and we've got that our random third keeper that wants to start this game. He's not going to be starting it. 
uh, but I will be back in a minute once I've decided on the team I'm going to be putting out. This is the team I've gone with. Again, many changes in this match. Uh, I've got Yanis on the right, Shaw starts, Smalling and Rojo at centre-back, Jones at right-back, Lindegaard starting in, in net as well. And yeah, my midfield has changed slightly. We are going to sim the game again against Burnley. This time it's a home match, so we have a little bit more chance of uh, getting a comfortable victory. Hopefully we can get ourselves a win. Again, I'm, I'm going to skip it at the 45th minute, uh, just to kind of see how things go. Uh, Michael Keane's been booked for them 11 minutes in. 11 minutes later, Wayne Rooney makes it 1-0. And we're going to skip in five minutes and skip. We won the game 2-0. Wayne Rooney got the second goal in the 77th minute. Another decent win and another 2-0 win. New Zealand want me, but I'm going to reject that offer. I'm not interested in an international management job yet. Ramos is also back from his suspension. Now on to the game against Leicester. Again, it's another home game. We are going to sim this match yet again. Uh, we are currently second in the league. One point behind Arsenal, but we have got a game in hand. And yeah, we will submit. This is the team I've gone with. Damain starts this game, and Royce also does as well, along with Schweinsteiger. I've gone with a few more of our first team players for that one, and uh, hopefully we can get ourselves a very comfortable victory. They've lost the last three games at least, Leicester, there, as you can see. All of them 1 0. They've got a five at the back as well. Let's see how we get on. Hopefully, it should be a comfortable victory. Uh, Grimes being booked seven minutes in. Rooney makes a 1 0. That's two goals in two games. Schweinsteiger gets booked in the 24th minute. We'll skip in the 45th again, and I think Rodriguez made it 2-0 just before I skipped, and it's actually finished 4-0 in the end, so we've absolutely thrashed them. Uh, the other two goals came from Schweinsteiger and Herrera. Uh, Herrera came on two minutes before that as well, so yeah, a decent win, 4-0, and we are now top of the league by two points. Next game against Swansea, this time again it's away, uh, we are going to sim this match, but the next game we're playing, and that is the Capital One, Capital Cup, Capital One Cup um, final um, against Hull City, so we're playing the next match after this one. Hopefully we can get ourselves a win, this is the team I've gone with, Griezmann starts, no Rooney this time, giving him a bit of a rest, so the captaincy goes to Schweinsteiger, Matter on the right as well, Royce and Cam. And yeah, that is pretty much the team I've gone with. This will probably be a, a tough away match. Uh, I think this is the fixture that was played a couple of days ago, I think, actually. Was it away at Swansea or Old Trafford? I can't remember. Uh, but Man United lost this game, so hopefully we don't lose this one. Coleman gets booked 28 minutes in. We'll skip and... Oh, Depay scored, actually. Skip there, 2-0. Depay gets the second one as well. Uh, Edda got injured for them. And uh, yeah, another 2-0 victory for us, so good stuff. Also, Chelsea won 2-0 against Man City. Czech Republic want me now, and I nearly accepted that. Let's reject it. Now onto the Capital One Cup final against Hull City. This match I'm going to be playing. This is the team I've gone with. I've dropped Rooney. Um, basically just because if it benefits the team then I might have to do it sadly but that is the team I'm going to go with uh, Depay out on the left, Matter on the right this time and then Griezmann and Rice playing as those central roles hopefully we can get ourselves a win that is what we are after, it's the cup game and it's the final so we really need to try and get a trophy in Griezmann's running through here, this is our first chance off oh, the post oh my god it's not been a good start to the game for us at all I'm not just saying that because we've hit the post there that's our only chance, really. We've been really poor yet again. Hopefully that can change, though. Again, a little 1-2. <sighs> Not on target. We've got ourselves a corner. This is probably the only other thing that's happened in this first half, and it's gone close, to be fair. Adrian with the save. That's a decent transfer for Hull. Adrian, wow, I still can't get over that one. He's probably going to stop us from scoring here, isn't he? Again, Ramos goes close. Go on, Griezmann. Let's find a little opening here. Surely on his right foot. Oh, it slips underneath the keeper. And finally, this is our best chance, really, of the game. And we've scored from it. 1-0, 40th minute. Let's keep him coming. Griezmann's still on the run here. He's not really got that much pace, Griezmann, considering his stats. It doesn't feel like it anyway in game. And that is it for the first half. We are still winning 1-0. Not the greatest first half you'll ever see. Um, you'll probably realise that by the lack of clips. Um, and they started off like they were Bayern Munich. It was really strange. I couldn't tell if it was Hull City or Bayern. Uh, but we will keep the team exactly the same. Hopefully it's going to be enough to get us the win here and try and get ourselves a trophy early on. We've got ourselves a free kick. I'd usually shoot here uh, from this sort of angle, but I'm not happy with how far away it is. It's a little bit too near for my liking, so I'm going to try and get in. Uh, oh, I don't want to overcomplicate this. We'll just try and pass it to Ramos. I'm going to go for a little pass to him and try and score. I think Ramos. Who else is there available? Schweinsteiger? What's the other guy? Depay. Depay might be the best bet. Okay, so it took it for me. 
that wasn't me. <laughs> it took it for me, and it went in 2 0. I'm not going to complain. I clicked the, the pass button, uh, but it went in, so we'll have that. A little bit fluky. That was one of the weirdest things ever. Uh, yeah, I'll have that. I was controlling the pay, it definitely wasn't me, and we've made it 2 0 from a free kick that I didn't take, so pretty impressive. Griezmann's waiting for support, he's got to pay. That's a poor, poor pass. Sums up our last few games, to be honest. I know we're winning this one, but performance has still been nowhere near as good as it has been. Okay, we're going to make three changes. Guarin on, Correa on, and our main on. And that means that Royce is coming off. We've also got Griezmann coming off, and Juan Mata. Rooney's just going to stay on the bench. I'm not going to use him in this game. There's not much point. Uh, we may as well just try out Correa, see how he does. And hopefully this improves our performance a little bit, because it's still been really poor. Go on, Depay. It's a brilliant pass through from Schweinsteiger. A moment before, and I've taken a touch too many. Pushed the ball too far in front of me. That was very disappointing. Coleman to put in a cross. Can he find anybody in there? Guarin is. Misses him completely. Oh, come on, Guarin. Oh, the post again. And that is it. We have won the Capital One Cup. 2-0 it's finished. Like I was saying before, it's not been the best game, to be honest with you. I've uh, probably struggled for clips in this match. Uh, but anyway, it has uh, has been good enough to win us the game against Hull. How Hull have managed to get into the final, I'm not too sure. Uh, but anyway, we'll watch the trophy presentation and see our team lift the trophy. So there we go, this is it. The trophy presentation is here. This is going to be my first trophy as Manchester United manager. And uh, unfortunately for Rooney, he isn't on the pitch to lift it up. So it's the... Um, oh, in fact, he is there, Wayne Rooney. Uh, but anyway, Schweinsteiger will be lifting this one up because uh, Wayne Rooney wasn't the captain for this game. And it will be passed over to Schweinsteiger in a second. Here it is, the Capital One Cup trophy. And we are the winners. Yay! Brilliant stuff. Again, shame about the performances. That's one more what I'm after, along with obviously the win. Uh, but it's um, obviously more enjoyable when you play well. But we'll take the win, we'll take the trophy and move on to the league now and focus on that because we've got no other cup games to be involved in. So... It's very much just focusing on the league and trying to win that. Just seeing that Hull beat Wigan 7-2. Maybe that's why they got into the final then. And that is it for this episode, guys. I'm going to have to end it here purely because I've got this sort of team and I really need to put out some different players uh, just to make sure they all get their energy levels back up, which means I'll have to play the next game against Newcastle, uh, which obviously I can't fit into this episode. So thank you very much for watching, guys. If you did enjoy this one, please go hit the thumbs up button and also subscribe as well. That would be really appreciated. I think we're nearing 2,250 subs at the moment, which is incredible, so thank you so much. And uh, yeah, let me know what you thought about this episode in the comments. Also, something I forgot to mention at the start was... How crazy was Man United's uh, transfer deadline day? That was absolutely mad. Uh, Martial, I'm not really too sure whether he's signed yet. I've not actually seen. Uh, but like 50-odd million uh, was the, I think, final amount. I th originally it was 36, and with add-ons and things, it's going to be like 58 or something ridiculous like that. That's incredible. Also, the, the De Gea thing, which people have been going on about constantly. That was also very interesting. But yeah, that is it. Let me know what you thought about that it, also in the comments as well. And I'll read and respond as usual. That's it, guys. Thank you very much for watching and goodbye.